If you are feeling tight and you need a full body routine, look no further because here is a quick and easy stretching routine that you can do in a very short amount of time. The one thing I do want you to promise to me is if you don't have the time right now, save it for later, come back to it and perform the whole routine at once and let me know how you feel after in the comments. But other than that, let's get started. We will start with 90, 90 hips. Feet out wide and then arms out in front, then drive the knees down and then we'll transition over to the other side getting a good stretch on this back hip, hip internal rotation, hip external rotation on this front part. If you can't sit up like this and when you turn, you feel like you're gonna fall over, hands behind the back, run through the same motion, really try to drop those knees down so we get that mobility and strength or stretch in the hips, all right? So 10 reps total here, so I'm gonna run through it. Hope you're running through it at home as well. Now, if I'm going too fast or too slow, then you can always just pause the video or you can skip some stuff in the video. That's one. And we're going to shoot for 10 reps again. I don't know if I said that already. Good. Two. Two. And one of the things you'll notice is sometimes you start kind of scooching forward and that's okay. It's because your pelvis is in an ellipse shape. So as you're going, you kind of shimmy forward. Good. Four. Good. Four. Good. Five. This is great for, you know, anything you do at the gym that involves your hips, which is a lot. Good. Six. I'm pretty bad at counting, too. I lose my train of thought. So if I skipped one, then sorry. Make sure you do 10 at home. Let's say that's seven. Good. Eight. Good. Eight nine almost finished here nine and ten and ten ten reps total or ten reps going one on each side that was one rep so i guess 20 reps total on that 90 90 hip stretch again if you struggle with that you can always put your hands behind you now let's go into a modified hurdler stretch with a side bend. Kind of a good big bang for your buck stretch here. We're gonna start with one leg out. This leg is on the inside of the thigh. Ooh, can't talk. Inside the thigh, making a figure four shape here. You're going to rotate your upper body as much as you can so it's in line with this leg that's straight. From here, I like to put my hand on this leg just to anchor it down and then I can reach over. In this position, stretch up the lat, whole side of the body. I really feel a good stretch in my QL muscle, that low back muscle that tends to get pretty tight. And it's kind of nice because we're in, when we're in this position with our legs, our pelvis has a tendency to kind of tuck under and we can actually hit that QL muscle a little bit more. So again, rotate that upper body towards this leg so our upper body is lined up with this and then reach over and one minute on each side here. And I'll kind of run through what I'm thinking about while I'm doing this stretch, okay, here. And then reach over. If you struggle with this, you could always just put your hands on the side, bend over, find what works best for you. I'm gonna stick with this one right here. And I can feel a really good stretch kind of down this mid back or this lower back. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm also gonna time it, forgot about it. Let's see. One minute, start. Here, and then take some big breaths while you're in here, big belly breaths. So try not to breathe through the chest, don't do like that. Kinda breathe through the belly. You won't really see your upper body moving at all because the air is in your belly. Right now I can feel a little bit more of a stretch right here now, it's really loosening up. I'm just gonna hang on this position. Again, just concentrate on that breathing. If your hands start to tingle, then bring that hand down, continue the stretch, bring it back up. And you got about 15 more seconds here. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Stop that, and let's do one more on the other side. So we'll start that up, switch sides, rotate, and up. One minute on each, on this side. Breathe through it. Didn't really notice this on the other side, but now I'm getting a stretch on my hamstring over on this side, which is, which is cool too. Again, that's why I called it kind of a big bang for your buck stretch. About halfway through here, 30 seconds, keep breathing. The more I breathe, the more I feel the stretch. I feel it in the low back. Now it's coming up towards my lat a little bit. The tendency is a tendency, but sometimes you'll feel it more on one side and we're all usually dominant on one side. So one side might be working a little bit harder than the other might get a little bit tighter, but nothing to worry about. That's normal. Five more seconds. Two and one. All right. One minute each side. Modified hurdler with a side bend, working that low back also, the whole side of the body. We're gonna hit up a tall kneeling T-spine extension on the wall. Don't need the timer for this one. And this is gonna work our T-spine extension, some of the shoulders too. I'm gonna to start off by saying, if you can't get your arms overhead, then we can do a slight modification here. We can just do, you know, basically just something that that's gonna arch your back. Um, I want you to go into cat cow. So if you can't do this stretch, I want you to go into a cat cow, really concentrating on moving the spine. But if you can do it, follow me. I'm gonna pull my pants up a little bit. So let's go. Hands on the wall. The knees will be a pretty far distance from the wall, so you can't actually reach your hands out and touch. So can't reach the wall here, but I can lean in now and put my hands on the wall. And then all you're gonna do here is keep a straight back. Then you're gonna push your hips back towards your heels, dropping your chest and head through your arms and getting some good extension in your T-spine. Really love this one. If you wanna make it a little bit more active, you can push into the wall just a little bit more. So push into the wall and drop that chest down and maintain a slight pressure into the wall. We're gonna shoot for 10 reps here. Let's go. So knees off the wall, so we can't reach the wall. Lean right in, butt's nice and tight here, and then drop the hips back, drop the chest down. Good, one. Good, two. Pushing into the wall slightly. Good, three. Again, don't force it if your shoulders hurt. Four. Drop it down, chest down. Five. I feel a good stretch right in that mid back. Halfway, six. Good, seven. And eight, nine, one more, and 10. A little extra here, Ugh, feels good. So 10 reps there, run through it, not too slow, not too fast, just a good consistent pace on that. And that is tall kneeling T-spine extension on the wall. And now let's go into a forearm stretch. We're gonna do a kneeling forearm stretch. We're gonna do both sides. So there's the extensors, the muscles on this side, the back side of the arm, and then the flexors on the front side of the arm. Let's we'll start with the flexors. Starting all fours, knees under hips, wrist under shoulders, and then palms are gonna be down and fingers pointing towards you. For some people, this might be a good enough stretch for you. You might even have to back off a little bit. You might actually have to bring your knees in a little bit so there's not that much of a bend. But if you can do this, all we're gonna do is kind of push our hips back slightly, increasing the stretch on the forearms. For me, that's good enough for today. 
Man, all we're gonna do is hang out here for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna hit that timer here. I'll put it on a minute and then I'll stop after 30 seconds. Okay, here, and then sink back. If it's too uncomfortable again, you can always just do that so it's not bent as much. And then come on right back. So again, just 30 seconds here. Already about halfway through. I'm getting a good stretch. Okay, I'm gonna switch it over and all you're gonna do is put your palm or your palms face up now on the back of the hand on the ground and now I'm getting a stretch on the back side or the front side, back side or front side, back side of the arm. Kind of hang out here. I'm not as flexible on this side, so I'm gonna back off just a little bit. And getting a nice stretch on those extensors. All right. 30 seconds each side. So forms, the flexors, and the extensors. That is the last of the mobility exercises or stretches. And now we're gonna finish up with our stability exercise. This week, we're going to hit shoulder taps. You can do this in a push-up position. You can do it with your knees on the ground too. I'm gonna to show it to you on the knees. So get into that nice push-up position. Make sure the butt is squeezed and going towards the ground. Try not to keep, keep that butt up in the sky. So squeezed, nice little kind of plank position here. And then all you're gonna do is tap the opposite shoulder and try not to rotate the body. So we're going to tap. And as you can see, my body is not really moving that much. So not only are we getting shoulder stability, we're getting some good core stability. Okay, so on the other side, I'm pushing into the ground away from the floor and then tapping. Here, pushing away from the floor, being active with this mo motion and then tapping. I wanna see 10 on each side. So again, you can do this up in push-up position, just like this. The closer the feet together, the tougher it's gonna to be. The wider the feet, the wider the base, slightly easier. So find what works best for you. I'm gonna just do it on the knee so I can kind of talk through it. And 10 reps on each side. So I have my knees about shoulder width here. Again, I'm pushing away from the floor. Don't let these shoulders relax. Really wanna use the strength of your shoulder blades here. Neck isn't cranked up. Neck isn't looking all the way down. Good neutral neck. And then let's do it. Pushing away, tap. Hold for a second. Keeping the butt tight on, keeping the abs tight too so we don't move our hips and core that much. Good, two. Good, three. Tap. Push away. Tap. Good, four. Four, again, don't hold your breath. Breathe through it. Okay, five. Five. Good, six. Six, hips are staying steady. Core is nice and tight. Seven. Seven. Good, eight. And eight. Nine. Nine, last one, 10, and 10. All right, shoulder taps, shoulder stability, core stability. That is it 